All right, we are live. I decided to do this on Facebook because lately YouTube is just a nightmare and I'm sick of them. And luckily I can record this and send it over to YouTube. Little tip Renee gave me. Thank you, Renee. This is the Jupiter report and um, I apologize for not getting you the new moon forecast a week ago. My life has been kind of crazy the past week and it's going to stay like that straight on through the holidays. So as of today, December 2nd and all the way through December 19th of 2020, Jupiter has moved and Jupiter has moved into Capricorn. And um, this is a, this affects every sign by house. So for those of you who were January or December Capricorns, um, this has now moved into your second house of money. Okay, but for Capricorn itself, it moves right on to your first house. And I'll get into all of that in a minute. Let me explain a little bit about Jupiter first. Jupiter is the Lord of Luck. And wherever you have him placed by house and sign natally, you will always be blessed with the luck, abundance, and good fortune in those areas. And it doesn't necessarily mean monetary things. Um, Jupiter was in Sagittarius, and Jupiter in Sagittarius represents, you know, Sagittarius represents abundance. It represents luck, fortune, adventure. It represents law, the codification of thought. Um, the animal world represents all of that. And it was in its governing sign, meaning Sagittarius's planet is Jupiter. So now it has moved and it has moved into Capricorn as of today and it's there for over a year. Get a little extra time here. Usually it's one year, but now it is only, it is one year and about two, two weeks something like that. So that's good. It's especially good for the one sign, or it was two signs, but one sign especially that's been getting its butt kicked the last year, and that is Capricorn. Um, their polar opposite cancer has felt it too, but not as intensely because they're riding the head and not the tail. Unfortunately, many Capricorns are going through transitions right now. I'll get on to more about Capricorn in a minute when I move on to January. Um, let's start with Aries. Okay, so Jupiter has moved into Aries' 10th house. And the 10th house is about career. It's about public standing. It's about accomplishments. So for all you Aries out there, this next year coming up is going to be a year full of um, job promotions, maybe, um, public standing. You're going to get um, noticed for your hard work. You're going to get noticed for your, hi, Kathy, how are you? You're going to get noticed for all the hard work you've put in. The universe is going to reward you in that in that 10th house. That's the house of career. So you may get a job promotion. You may start your own business. You, you are going to be blessed by in the 10th house. So Aries, you're, all my Aries out there, you're going to have to keep me posted on how this next year goes. I love doing the Jupiter reports because it's, it's, this is not a sad or dreary forecast. This is actually very positive. It's very upbeat. Okay. Taurus, Taurus, this energy is going to be cruising your ninth house and your ninth house is the house of higher learning. It's the house of foreigners, foreign places, long-term travel. And you may decide to go back to college or back to school or take additional courses to, to better yourself. This is also about publishing and the ninth house. You may write a book. You guys are snowed in. We're we're rained out, so I'm like getting ready to build an ark here because I, I've never seen so much rain. 
stay warm, Kathy. I know you guys are snowed in and we're rained out. The whole, you know, we're in a uranic phase and I knew the weather would get nutty and it's just gone crazy. This weather is nuts, but stay safe and stay, stay warm. But Taurus, you may want to write a book. Is energy's falling right in your house of publishing and writing because naturally the ninth house takes on that energy. It's also about law and judges. So if you're going through something with courts right now, in this next year, you're blessed by the stars to win those cases. So keep me posted, Taurus. Gemini. Now, Gemini, Jupiter is going to be cruising your eighth house. Your eighth house is about its life, its death, its rebirth, its transformation. But it is also other people's money or joint finances. It's inheritance. It's um, taxes, investments. Gemini, if you do invest, whether it's real estate, stocks, cryptocurrency, anything like that, you're going to see high returns this year on that. Investments, as long as you follow universal laws and invest in the right stars, you can make money. You can make a wealth of abundance, no pun intended. But um, Jupiter being there, this is going to grow your investments. Remember, Jupiter is the planet of expansion. So it expands. It expands your luck. It expands your prosperity. It expands your money. It also can expand your waistline too. <laughs> and we'll get to that because it's in Capricorn now. Um, but anything to do with investments, um, even taxes, the IRS in some ways rules this energy. Um, not completely. That's more of a scorpionic energy. But because it's falling in that house, it's, it has that energy as well. So you'll have to keep me posted, Gemini, on all of your good fortune that you're going to make in the next year. Okay. Cancer. Now, like I said, the two signs that have been getting their butt kicked this past year are Cancer and Capricorn. It's worse for Capricorn because Capricorn is riding the tail. And those of you who know me know I always tell you better to ride the head of the dragon than the tail because that is not a place you want to be. I have dealt with many Cancers who are going through some changes in their life. Um, this energy... The dragon head is right now cruising your seventh house. Your seventh house is the house of marriage. It's the house of partnerships, contracts. So not necessarily marriage, but deeper commitments um, relationship-wise in the domestic um, household, so to speak. Um, the domestic forecast, I should say. Jupiter is moved in now, giving you not just the dragon's head, but the planet Jupiter as well with double positive energy. So chances of meeting someone are possible. A lot of cancers may tie the knot in the next year or get married. What else can I say about this? Partnerships and contracts. This can also mean business partners signing new contracts for either a new business or new um, employment. Signing contracts are going to be very blessed under these under this energy, especially if you sign between the new and the full moon. You never sign anything if you can well if you can avoid it from the full to the wanting, from full all the way to the dark moon. You never sign a contract. But July babies in general this is very, very lucky for you guys in that seventh house aspect. So you are going to have to keep me posted. Okay, Kathy, keep me posted. <laughs> um, Leo. Now, Leo, a lot of Leos have been suffering with health issues and service to the world, change in employment or change in health. Um, remember, Capricorn Dragon Tail is sitting on your sixth house, but Jupiter has moved in right on that tail, easing the pain 
just a little bit and health issues will get better i don't know if you read about madonna having to cancel her the rest of her tour due to health issues madonna is a leo okay She's an August-born Leo, so the energy was that dragon energy is right on her. But now Jupiter has moved in, and it's going to help all Leos in the aspect of health and service to the world. So there may be some Leos who have been suffering with health problems, even weight issues. Um, this energy is going to give you the um, energy the power to be number one more disciplined but also to get yourself on track and get healthier if it has to do with employment you may find a better job or a job that suits you better and with jupiter being there it may fall right into your lap so all my beautiful leos please keep me posted virgo now virgo jupiter is going to cruise your fifth house this is your house of love romance children creativity joy entertainment things that bring you pleasure and you've had this dragon tail and capricorn sitting there on your fifth house so a lot of virgos have been very unlucky in relationships very unlucky in love um, maybe their children are creating a little more havoc for them that's about to change the dragon energy is still there and it's there till may 5th of 2020 but you once you have jupiter there you may find love children will bring you something whether it not necessarily abundance but children will bring you more joy at this time you may find love you will feel more creative at this time um you will feel like getting out more and doing things i have a feeling some virgos have felt like they are hibernating and yes i get it it's winter time and with this crazy weather i feel like hibernating too but it's time to get out there virgo if you are a single virgo it is time to get out there and see what the universe has to offer you in the realm of love um, with jupiter there anything is possible so good luck libra now, Libra, this is going to be cruising your fourth house. Jupiter's now stationed in the fourth. And the fourth house has everything to do with home, it has to do with emotions, foundations, um, family, real estate, hospitality. So with that being in the fourth house, there may have been some emotional issues. This even represents a mother or a mother figure. So why didn't you guys tell me I had my hair sticking up? <laughs> I look like I have one horn. <laughs> um, Jupiter is now stationed in your fourth, and you may have had a lot of trials and tribulations in the past year, with, even with your own mother or mother figure. It doesn't necessarily have to mean a mother. It could mean a grandmother, an aunt, a woman that is very, very close to you. There may have been some emotional issues. There may have been some real estate issues. Your luck is about to change in this area. So get ready for, for better days ahead, better times ahead, um, better emotional grounding in some ways. Um, you may sell or buy a house. You may move. One thing I've always been taught by my te my teacher told me this years ago and, and and he's actually really he's right about it because it's so true life is a constant process of change whether we like it or not i laugh when i say that because i'm the kind of person that likes to you know plant some roots you know plant some seeds and watch them grow i'm i'm rooted you know and maybe it's a capricorn thing i can adapt pretty well but i don't like it I like the status quo. You know, Capricorn is a very conservative sign. So, well, you know, we like the tried and true. We don't really, luckily I have a dragon's head in Gemini. So the curiosity, the adventure comes out in me. And I don't mind change that much. Sometimes change is needed. But remember, life is a constant process of change. So Libra, better days ahead in that area, okay? Scorpio. Now, Scorpio 
this dragon energy is cruising your third house and Jupiter is now stationed there too. I always say when Jupiter's sitting on a tail, it, it's so much better than when it's just the tail. Um, this is your third house. This is your house of communication, transportation, um, social events, siblings. This is also your mental process. So I know a lot of Scorpios um, who've, how do I word this? They Their mental process has been off a little bit and they kind of go to a darker place than, than any other sign except for maybe Capricorn. Um, Capricorn knows how to go very dark. Yeah. But Scorpio has, how do I say this? I think the mental process has been off. You've been feeding into fears and negativity for a while. And that's going to change. Your mind, Jupiter's there. The mind is going to expand. The mental process will get better. You will have better communication with people. And this is Scorpio, a perfect time to write that book. No, no BSing around. This next year, if you want to write a book, write it. Okay. Okay, next sign, Sagittarius. Now, Sagittarius, you have had Jupiter sitting right on your first house for this past year. And I talked to a lot of Sagittariuses who have said, you're so right, Linda. Um, it did expand my waistline. <laughs> a couple of ma male Sagittarians I know made me laugh one day saying this. They're like, Linda, <laughs> it's true. Well, unfortunately, it, that that energy has moved into your second house, so your waistline will not expand as much now. It's going to be your wallet because the planet Jupiter is now in your second house of money, wealth, possessions. It's even self-esteem. So any Sagittarians who've had you know self-esteem issues, it's going to get better. Um. You've had Jupiter right on you, on your soul's purpose. So, sorry, I'm getting the hiccups again. You've had Jupiter right on you, on your soul's purpose, and that's kind of elevating you to um, do more, be more, um, be more assertive in things and, and get things done, so to speak. Now it's moved into your second house. So any kind of investments you do, as long as they're done in the right stars, you're going to make a lot of money. This is the one sign next to Capricorn that is going to do very well this year, okay? Um, second house with Jupiter, you can't lose. You gamble. You may even be lucky in gambling as well. Most uh, Sagittariuses are lucky with gambling. Um, it's just something you're gifted with by house and sign. You're born that it, you're born with it because Jupiter is the Lord of luck, abundance, wealth. Um, so now it's moved into your second house. So anything with investments and and finances is a green light. You'll have to keep me posted, Sag. Okay, January now. This, like I said, this sign has been getting its, you know what, kicked for the past year. And I should know I'm one of them. I am a Capricorn and I am getting my ass kicked. There's a lot of responsibility going on with Capricorn right now. Um, you're, we Capricorns are being tested to our limits. I mean our limits. Big broad shoulders is what we need. And some of us are, are handling it quite well. And some of us not so well. Now, please remember the next dragon en energy that comes. The head's going to be in your health house. And that's not till March or till May. Capricorn, get yourself set up now. Make time for yourself. Um, if you don't make, I saw this post the other day. I think my friend Pam posted it, but I can't remember. It said something like, if you don't take time for yourself now, an illness will come in and, and, and make you take time. Something to that effect. I know I'm not saying it right, and I don't know exactly what meme it was that she posted, but it made 
it really resonated with me. I know a lot of Capricorns that are going through a lot, a lot of Capricorns of losing their life. I mean, if I went in and I Googled all the famous deaths for January, some actresses, a lot of them would pop up were born in the, in the month of January. This tale is writing for us. It's hunting for us. It wants to kill us in some way. So, and I'm not trying to say that to, to scare you, but it's a fact and it's true. And I see it every day with certain things. There is a big bright light at the end of the tunnel, Capricorn, and it's here. Okay. It's almost over. May 5th, we call it the changing of the guards. And this energy shifts out of our sign and into another sign. Um, but good news is here for Capricorn because this planet is right on our first house. This is our soul's purpose. This is um, our public appearance, how our outlook, how we look, how we present ourselves to the public. Um, this, now that it's in our first house, this does have a tendency to expand the waistline. It's really the last thing I really need is my waistline to expand even more. <laughs> so my best advice for my Capricorns is to, even though Jupiter's there, it doesn't have to expand your waistline. Redirect that energy and make it expand your pocketbook. Make it expand your wallet. Make it expand your ideas and your your service to the world and, and, and what you want to um, achieve and create for the next year. Um, there's also, let me bring it up because I posted it in my forecast. Oh, bear with me. I should have had this up already. I posted this in my forecast last week about a conjunction. And I don't usually talk about conjunctions and trines and things like that because I'm an ancient astrologer. But I had to post this because, bear with me, it's coming up. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, so the interesting part here is for Capricorn, and I'm spending a little more time on Capricorn than I am any of the other zodiac signs because they are the ones who are, I wouldn't say suffering the most. I think Aquarians are the ones that suffer far greater right now with that tail being in their subconscious. The last place you will ever want that dragon tail to be, it's fine if it's the tail is on you. If you have cosmic consciousness and you know how to read the stars, you'll get through this energy, okay? But the dragon tail in Capricorn is sitting right on Aquarius's subconscious mind. So it's feeding into fears about certain things. And we'll get into that next. Um, back, back to Capricorn, though. Jupiter being right on your first house, um, the expansion for many things. Luck is coming your way. And I say that because not only is Jupiter moved in to your first house, you also have the whole month of December is when the universe shifts. Let's see, what did I write? It's going to conjunct Saturn for the whole month of September. It's, this is making for better opportunities, um, both financially, business-wise, and positive changes. And you've had... Capricorn has struggled the last two or three years, this, but this dragon energy now is right on you, so it's um, double the energy and twice as dramatic. So around the 26th of December, Capricorn, we're going to have an eclipse, and it's very lucky. It's very lucky. Gamble, play a lottery, buy a ticket, something very lucky is going to happen for Capricorn. Um, a lot of Capricorns that I have talked to have told me that they feel not themselves lately. They don't, you know, they don't feel comfortable in their skin. They don't like what they see in the mirror. A lot of times, dragon a dragon tail right on the soul's purpose will do that. It will it will play 
pay it it will feed on our psyche a little bit and make us put ourselves down more make us a little more depressed um, times are changing we're gonna see we're gonna we're gonna come out of our shell we're gonna emerge from this now and um, our outlooks gonna change we're not gonna be as depressed um, abundance is there for us to make uh, what else could I say about this? I'm trying to say all the things that are going through my own head with this energy going now. Um, what else can I say? I had a client tell me this. I'm not, not going to mention names, but they are Capricorn, and they told me they don't know what's going on with them, but for the past year, they just they don't, can't look at themselves in the mirror they feel fat, they feel ugly, they feel unattractive. Anytime you have a dragon tail sitting there, don't forget Saturn is sitting right on the tail too, making the depression and the fear um, 10 times stronger. Um, that's going to change. We're going to have better self-esteem of ourselves now. We're going to, even though I say that the waistline can expand, that doesn't have to be. Discipline yourself exercise be a little more healthier and, and you won't have any problems at all because remember this i want doesn't matter whether you're capricorn aries cancer remember this this is the one advice i ever give any of my clients and friends here on facebook live is this your the will of your mind your psyche is stronger than your stars and i've seen many humans when they put their mind to something phone's ringing when they put their mind to something they can achieve it that's what's happening for capricorn now so step out of that funk you were in because you're going to get into a new groove now okay keep me posted cappy i'm curious to see how life's going for you okay aquarius now aquarius like i just said you have been going through I think this placement is even worse than the tail being on Capricorn because it's dealing with the subconscious and you never really want um, anytime someone's born with a dragon's tail in the subconscious I, when I'm doing a reading on someone and I see this natally it's time to take extra care and and extra attention to this soul because their psyche is fragile um, their subconscious mind is fragile. They're feeding into more fears. Um, I know a lot of Aquariuses that are dealing with health issues, even though the dragon's head is in their sixth right now. And it, I don't always say it should be, their star should be blessed with the head there. The head is usually a positive aspect. So if you are dealing with health issues, you caught it in time and it's being treated. Okay. With that tail in the twelfth house, you're don't feed into the fears. Um, even though veterinarian is different from an MD, a doctor of humans, it was kind of funny. I took one of my cats in the other day to the vet because he has some sort of kidney disease, and that's going to cost me a lot, but that's okay. Um, he said to me, "Whatever you do." Don't go on the internet and Google or, or M web MD something with your cat because it'll say your cat's dying or this or that. It goes the same for humans, okay? If you don't feel good, you go to the doctor and let the doctor deal with it. And let, that's what he's been trained to do. Um, now that Jupiter has moved in, though, here, Aquarius, a whole shift has changed. And with that planet sitting there on your 12th house now, deeper messages are coming from spirit, whether it's through your dreams, through meditation, through your subconscious mind. Um, deep messages are coming, and this is good. You're going to feel um, a lot of Aquariuses lately have felt kind of antisocial, you know, this tail there doesn't really want to make them socialize quite as much they'll stick with their close friends more than go out and meet new people now that jupiter's there 
this is going to expand their mind spiritually. So anyone out there that is an Aquarius, this next year your third eye is going to open. Spiritual meaning is coming. More metaphysical meaning. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> this is one sign in the zodiac that's really going to get enlightened this, this entire year. So... Aquarius, best of luck to you. Keep me posted. All right. Pisces. Now, Pisces, this energy is cruising your 11th house. This is your house of friends. This is your house of wishes. This is social environment, social status, groups. And in the last year, things may have been kind of negative in that area, meaning friends have come and gone out of your life or you've had falling outs with friends now that jupiter is there jupiter may make some of your dearest wishes come true this year because that planet's stationed there now especially after may 5th once may 5th comes in and that tail dragon tail and capricorn moves and jupiter sits there all alone it's all jupiter so the summer should be very incredible for you, meeting new friends and friends making your wishes come true. And um, social events, you'll be going out to more social events and stuff like that. Um, it's very, very positive time for all of us in the Zodiac. Um, so good luck, Pisces. And that is your Jupiter report. I didn't type this up. And I don't really have the time, which is, I think I'll just throw this on, on my website and YouTube and call it a day. Um, yes, Kathy, I've, the last three years, both those signs, um, because we're both polar opposites, I'm Capricorn, you're Cancer, um, we, we've been getting our, you know, what kicked. It's been very difficult the last three years, and it kind of seems like, can't speak for cancer because cancer's on a, in a little bit different energy. But for Capricorn, um, yes, the last three years, it's just been one trial and tribulation after another, after another. And it's just like, ah, luckily we can breathe a little bit better now because Jupiter is in there. And, um, and for both you and I, you know, for me, it's on the first house. For you, it's on the seventh. Um, Wherever that planet's going to hit your house, it, better days are ahead in those areas. That doesn't mean we still don't take precautions. Of course we take precautions, especially after a wanting moon. But even in a, in a new moon. You know, I went on here the other day and I posted something about the energies. And I'm supposed to go out of town next month. Not next month, this month. Uh, at the end of the month and I'm starting to look at the moon map because I don't follow the regular calendar. I have to look at a moon chart. I plan all my traveling around a moon chart and I don't know if I'm going to go at least not when the next Uranic phase hits towards Christmas time. Uh, you see the weather we're having now? Well, we're going to have that weather again near the 25th, 26th, and 27th. Hold on. Okay, I made a mistake. 28th, 29th, and 30th. So I've got to like kind of rethink this whole thing because I'm in the process of moving, but I need to get to where I'm moving to and, and find housing and stuff. So I got a lot going on, and I'm trying to do it in accordance with the stars. So um, the next year will be an interesting one for every sign in the zodiac but especially cancer and capricorn okay um and then i well i'll get into the changing of the guard i'll do my um my 2020 forecast in a week or two and i'll probably do it here on facebook live because I'm having a lot of trouble with YouTube right now, and I don't know if it's because of that new children's thing. I've done everything that they've asked of me. Um, it just doesn't, My every time I try and go live, my camera just doesn't work, and I've 
fine-tuned everything. If there's anyone out there that knows what the hell I am doing wrong, I am all ears, open to suggestions. So I have a feeling from now on I might do my video forecast right here from YouTube or from Facebook Live because um, Renee Marie showed me that you can videotape, save it, and then upload it to YouTube later, and that's probably what I'll do since I have over a thousand plus followers here on Facebook, and I only have like 62 followers on YouTube. It would make more sense to come on here and do it for my subscribers than to go over there and do it for 62 people. I mean, I love my 62 people, 63, please don't get me wrong. I'm grateful and give my YouTube channel a like, but just for some reason, technology-wise, it just seems easier for me to go on here. Um, I'm hoping Santa Claus brings me a digital camera. That's what I want for Christmas, so we'll see. Anyway. You guys have a great evening. Kathy, stay safe out there. I know the East Coast is getting hammered right now with snow, um, the snowpocalypse, as one of my cousins called it the other day. Uh, we're having the rainpocalypse here, or as the weatherman calls it, an atmospheric river. <laughs> atmospheric? I think I said that wrong, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyway, I'll probably come on here tomorrow or the next day because I want to share my witch's box with you. I got two new ones. And I don't like the way it's recording on um, YouTube. Every, every time I show and tell the stuff, it's blurry. So I think I'm just going to stick with Facebook because Facebook seems to have a better, better quality in some ways. Anyway. Everyone out there, have a great evening. Stay dry, stay safe, and Kathy, have a great evening. And um, I'll talk to everybody soon. And I want to add one more thing. It's It has been brought to my attention <laughs> by several people. My webmaster is working on it, but she's also a college student. And this is partly an error on my part. But it has been brought to my attention that every year when I throw the holiday specials, um, I kind of forget about my existing clients, and that is not true. It, that's why you have to tell me things. I need to know. Feedback. Um, I always apparently throw a new special for new clients, but I don't do anything for the existing ones. So that has been brought to my attention, and I'm going to make that up to all of my existing clients with a holiday special coming up very soon. So yes, um, my solstice special will be starting in a few weeks, and it's 50% off full, full life reading with a two-hour um, MP3 recording. And any questions you may have, I even throw in an angel card on top of the reading. Um, usually 100 bucks, it's going to go down to 50 for the solstice special. And for my returning clients, my clients have already had readings, um, I'm mulling a few ideas in my head so I'll throw them out here and you comment and tell me what you would prefer I can do a progressive reading which is something that's offered to to only my clients who've had full life readings through me and a progressive reading um, goes through all of the planets and aspect for you only your your birth time and everything I'm was thinking of offering that with um, either the lucky and unlucky dragon days for a special for 50 bucks maybe um, since you've had your full life reading you you do know all about yourself and your stars so the next step would probably be the progressive reading with your lucky and unlucky dragon days for 2020 I'm probably gonna run that special along with the um, Oh boy, I'm at a loss for words here. Wait, wait, wait. The 12 card spread tarot reading. Um, the 12 card astro tarot reading is um, one of the most interesting readings I offer. And it's 
all done with the major arcana. It's not the average three card spread and or the horseshoe where I use the entire um, tarot deck. It's only with the major arcana. And so each house talks about the changes and the things that are going to come in each house. So that's something I'm going to start offering. And um, apparently there's an issue with the website, though. I did want to bring that up as well. Um, I'm noticing because I'm the idiot who decided to upload a physical file instead of a digital file. Um, it's charging my clients for tarot readings. And, you know, any of my products, of course, there's going to be a physical charge and a shipping cost. And But for the readings and the tarot readings, there's no shipping. So I've had to do a lot of refunding of like 30. Most of this is happening to my, my Australians and my Brits and my Germans. All of my clients that are like from England, the United Kingdom, Australia, and Germany, this is happening to them. It hasn't happened to anyone in the United States yet. I don't know why it's happening. Even my daughter's like, what the heck did you do, mother? <laughs> and I'm like, it's going to take me a long time to fix. So for now, if there's anything you want ordered in the realm of reading, before you click that button and pay, message me and I'll just send you an invoice. Then that way we don't get charged for, you don't get charged an unnecessary shipping cost that you don't need. I do charge tax now, even on the readings that are e-filed because at the end of the year, I'm charged tax. And nothing in life is guaranteed, but death and taxes. Anyway, if there's something you want and, and it's charging you this an exorbitant amount of money in shipping, private message me and I will send you a, a, a document. I'll send you a document over where you can purchase it from there instead of having to go through that of me returning it to you. And, on, and of course, you know, Facebook has to get, PayPal has to get, their money. So every time I do a return, I'm losing like $2.87. And um, it's not fair to my, my staff. And it's not fair to me. But um, I don't see myself taking a whole lot of time here to re rebuild the website. It's going to take me, I need to wait till my three week break to really get in there and do that. I'm updating a little as I go. Um, but just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. And once again, have a good evening. And I will see you again soon. Ciao. Bye, Kathy.